it's so cheering to see you still in your element. As and if I compare Jimmy Shola and Ke at 80, uh, as against the fond memories uh, we had of you, uh, first, it will always remain Uncle Jimmy to many of us who always looked forward to hearing your story uh, time uh, sessions. Mm -hmm. uh, but now at age 80, you have now, we understand, moved on to Ikwara, your hometown yeah. in uh, Ogun State, to construct what we've seen so far, an amazing collection of um, folklore uh, center, folklore now, so to speak. Tell us about that journey and what you hope to achieve with that. Um. <laughs> uh, entertainment and an entertainer remain uh, forever. <clears throat> Eventually, when I wanted to leave Ife, because I've stayed Ife all through my life from 1969, and I wanted to leave Ife, I had uh, pieces of land in my hometown. I just took one of them and I said, something was telling me that, look, some people who will say you are too old to start anything, don't listen to them. The voice was telling me, do what you want to do now, retire here, and it will become a total um, center that everybody that has known you would want to come. So I started setting up a situation where there will be, uh, I even called it Storyland Retreat. Uh, there will be sessions for children enjoying their regular, you know, weekend entertainment, folk singing, folk tales, you know, cultural interactions, because uh, we are running out of our cultural feats. Everybody is trying to be nothing else that is normal around here, but with something else that is that is moral and not normal from anywhere else. So I want to have a situation where children will come, they will see a lot of things that they've never seen before. Which child has seen a dogon before? How can he or she see it? Which child has seen a water container, the gourd? and the gauntlet and the container and the cup before. All these things were part of us and are still part of us. And no, we don't want our children to live a life that they will not know anything about themselves. Because as they said in Yoruba land that if you leave your culture behind totally, totally, then you are naked. You are now going to be robed in different kinds of uh, clothes and colors that are not yours. And I will not want to be a, an old man. So we set up that place for a lot. Evenings of folk singing, evenings of uh, storytelling, uh, weekend festivals of hair, traditional hairdo. Uh, we invite the Adiremika uh, to come and stay with us, you know. First day, second day, by the time you come back home, you can tie dye your own t shirt yourself. The cover will come. There will be drama going on there. All the things that have been surrounding me get them continuously displayed at the Ibudoasha. That's what I call the place, Ibudoasha. And that's why I'm there, because if I stop now and retire, no retirement in performing arts, so no retirement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no retirement. <laughs> Who are you going to retire on? Yeah, yeah, job, be ordinary people. I mean, so there's no retirement. So you continue doing it. That's the reason why I'm setting up such a place. Mm. I, 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 I'm, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just wondering, Barashulanke, if perhaps um, you think the government should also, the authorities should be doing, uh, what they should be doing differently to enhance and amplify such moves by people like you. Um, I'm also wondering just how worried you are when you look at the screens today, the kind of films you see, the kind of movies you see, when you also listen to the kind of music that my generation are producing. <laughs> I wonder just how worried you are about our values, our culture, our heritage as a people. <laughs> the, the music we hear. <laughs> 
the uh, movies we watch. <laughs> we, we ourselves are the one putting us into the throes of the uh, millennium enslavement. Because everything that our that are our own, that our people been fine-tuned and reshaped and re-accredited now does not belong to us. We don't have time for it. We have time for all that. Maybe we have time and um, and uh, time and the interest and total love for falling attitude. Nobody wants to do like themselves anymore. They want to do like other people from other countries, from other worlds and other cultures. That's totally, that's total enslavement in the 21st century. I plead that we should all come back, come back to our senses and come back to our realism and embrace what are ours. I don't want to comment on any, because you see, uh, I've tried the few films that are, you know, cogent, potent in my thinking to be part of. A few ones people will come and just, you know, cameo role. Yeah, okay. But if I want to talk, I will not call myself a film actor because I've not been acting in films. And the reason right. why I am an actor of no actor. stage, repute in seriousness. Mm -hmm.